Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that we went through to build my son his very first gaming PC. We went through all the parts together. We determined pretty much every single part, price, went through research, price for performance, and we came up with something that I think is a really good build. It will be useful for both productivity and gaming, however, predominantly for gaming for him, and I might use it just to do a little bit of video editing, use those Ryzen cores to export videos a little bit faster than my 8700K. Now, this is a really special video for me because finally, me and my son will be able to enjoy playing games together instead of me having to give up my PC for him and vice versa. We're both really into Battlefield, and I've been playing Battlefield since the very first one showing my age now, but yeah, he's really into Battlefield as well, loves playing it. We're playing Battlefield 5. It's not the best game, but we absolutely love Battlefield. So yeah, this machine is really geared towards being able to play in 1080p predominantly in ultra settings, but this setup can definitely play 1440p without any trouble at all. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video coming up next. First up we have the Ryzen 7 3700X, which is 8 cores and 16 threads, great for both gaming and productivity. Next we have the Asus ROG X570F, which is a pretty decent motherboard for overclocking and really matches the build. The RAM is Trident Z, probably the most recognizable RGB RAM, but it's suited to Ryzen CPUs clocking in at 3600MHz. For CPU cooling we have the Cougar Hella 360 which in my opinion is one of the nicest looking water block and pump combos on the market. It also has the ability to refill and comes with a spare coolant bottle and thermopaste sachet for when there's dehydration in the loop and you need to reapply it. For PCIe NVMe storage we have the Corsair MP510 which is what we will be using for the boot drive. Additional case cooling also by Cougar with the Vortex RGB in the SPB120 triple fan combo and also the HBP120, which has black impellers and will be used as the exhaust fan at the back of the case. Keeping with the Cougar theme, we have the Neon Mousepad, RGB of course, and the Bunker Mouse Bungie, the Minos XT Mouse, and the ever-reliable 700K EVO keyboard, again with RGB. Capable of pretty decent 1440p gaming, we have the AMD Radeon 5700XT OC Edition from Gigabyte. This is a triple fan card, sleek and minimal in design, with a single RGB element being the logo, and what I believe is the feather in the cap of this build. Being an AMD build, we decided to go with the RM750X power supply from Corsair, as the CPU requires additional power, as well as the graphics card also being on the power hungry side. The case of course is the Cougar Gemini T, a very solid and sturdy case with plenty of space to work in, and decent cable management to boot. I won't review the case in this video, but one of the features I really like is the ability to add two fans to the right hand side of the case, which helps to vent out additional heat coming from the AIO. This really helps with thermal performance. Right, let's get on with the build.
hope you enjoyed that guys. It's now time for the meat of the video, which is how much all of this cost to build this lovely PC you see behind me. And I'll just go through everything and I'll mention Australian dollars. I'll put American dollars up on the screen as well, just so that you can get a rough idea for how much it will cost you over in the US. So we start off with the CPU, which was the Ryzen 7 3700X, and that was $479. We move to the motherboard, which was the ASUS ROG Strix X570F gaming motherboard, which was 800, $800, $387. We move on to the power supply, which was the Corsair 750 watt that came in at $176. We've then got the Corsair 240 gig, the MP510, and that came in at $77. The mouse bungee, which is this one right here that came in at $39 and the vortex RGB SPB cooling kit which is the triple fan combo that comes with the little box that allows you to plug in all of the RGB goodness that came in at $105 next we have the keyboard the Cougar 700k EVO that came in at 182 bucks. The mouse came in at $34. That's the Minos, Minos, don't know how to say it, XT RGB. The Neon RGB gaming mouse pad came in at $37. The case came in at $238, which was discounted. Thank you very much. And the Cougar Hello 360 RGB all-in-one cooler came in at $220. No discount on that one. Oh, actually, $9 discount. Then we move on to the RAM. That was $179 for the G-Skill Trident Z RGB. 16 gig, 3600 megahertz. Um, yeah, not a bad price. $179. RAM has certainly come down in price. Um, we've also then got the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT Gaming OC. That came in at $6.99, no discount on that one. So, the total comes to, including tax, $2,852. The taxes were $259.27, and the total discounts were $248, although that discount on paper looks a bit sneaky because it came with the bundle, the Xbox bundle, and there were two of them at 99 bucks. So, kind of pads the numbers a little bit, and I don't know if my son will even use it, because in his words he goes, I don't play Xbox games. I'm like, okay, well, the thing is that you can use them on PC, so I'm gonna give him the codes and he can have a crack at it and see if he wants to do it. Well, that about sums it up for this one. Um, I think we'll do benchmarks and thermals in the next video. Actually, probably the second video, because the very next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable manage this whole mess. And I'll probably film it because I've got a technique down pat, which I pretty much learned in my first video, which I'll link up here. And that's my primary gaming setup. And you'll see how I've done that. And I think it'd be a good opportunity to film the whole process because in the last video, I didn't get to film it. But in this one, I will film it so that you'll see exactly how I did it and how to make the cables look all really nice and, and tidy. So... Yeah, if you like the video, drop a like on it, hit the subscribe button, and if you don't mind, hit the bell notification as well, so that you'll be notified when I upload the next video. That's it. Done. Peace out. See you in the next one.